Ooh, and that is hooked about as perfect as a gator could ever be hooked when you're not gator fishing. Fish, fish. Oh, smoked it. Smoked it. This feels like a better one. Oh, this feels heavy. Oh, what do we got here? <laughs> we might have a, oh, we got gator. We got gators. Oh, it's gator time. Oh, and that is hooked about as perfect as a gator could ever be hooked when you're not gator fishing. Now here's the scary part. This is the part that everybody's scared of, grabbing these gators. It's actually kind of humorous when we go up north with the Elite Series. When you see dudes from Louisiana where they have real gators and they can ha really handle them, they get near these northern gators and they have a hard time. But the whole key with it is just about the commitment. I mean, when you make your move, you don't do it half-handedly. <laughs> when you make your move, you don't do it half-handedly. You look for your spot, you make your move, and you commit. And these dudes, if you hold them right, they're generally pretty nice to you. And one of the keys, too, is to make sure it's not green. I mean, in a tournament situation, you see people, they just rush that fish in, and I get it. You don't want to waste your time in a gator when you can be catching bass, so you rush that fish in, so that fish is so much more green when it gets to the boat. Leave them in the water an extra 30 seconds, 45 seconds. Let them jump a few times. Whew, let them get a little less green, and you can generally handle these dudes. Oh. Now, I talk nice about you. So give us a nice, as I said, just to commit to it and uh, really simple to handle. We'll fix that in post, right guys?